Hello, I'm Brian Mitchell. Welcome to our boxing discussion. Our new panel here next to me, award-winning journalist and boxing writer David Isaacson. And of course, Dingan the Rose of Soweto, three times world champion. He won the WBO, he won the WBA, and he won the WBC. Welcome, David. Welcome, Dingan, well, to the well. Golden Gloves website. Yeah. David, let me start with you. We're talking welterweight division. We're going back. Mm. The welterweight division is huge now in world boxing. Tulani Mbengi is our new superstar, just won the IBO world title. If we look back, if we go back over 30 years, you had the great Harold Forbrecht. Harold Forbrecht, I think he had 19 world title mm -hmm. defences. And then you had Joseph Makaringa, 10 defences. You had the Malinga brothers. We've had great South African welterweight champions. Let's talk to Tulani Mbengi. Let's talk about the state of the welterweight division. Well, it's an interesting division historically because I don't think that's... South Africa has been that strong in the in the division. Um, Harold Fulbrecht, 19 SA title defences, came unstuck in two world title shots. Um, you had uh, Bongani Mwelasi, a Commonwealth Games gold medalist, who I think is quite an interesting comparison to Tulani. Yes. Um, just purely because um, he got gold, had a great promising future, basically got lazy. And then to, to Lani, at least as a dedication, he was a Commonwealth Games bronze medalist. But um, but if you look if you look at, for example, uh, Makaringe, Jan Bergman came up, challenged him, knocked him out in the third round. Um, so, you know, I don't know that our welterweights over the years have been um, well, Sugar Ray Robinsons. Uh, and so, so Tulani's Floyd got a... Sugar Ray, Sugar Ray Leonard. <laughs> it's actually... Sorry, Kev. Yeah. No, so bas basically mm. Tulani's got a, a long road ahead of him. Um, yeah. And he's got to go where no other South African has actually been in the welterweight division. But the wonderful thing about the welterweight division, let me talk to the great Dingon, to Bella himself. Yeah. Dingon, well, you, you flew right past welterweight division. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you went from junior light right through and you, and you knocked out all the guys, won so many world titles. The great Dingan Tubela. Dingan, Tulani Mbengi is in a great division actually, because if you look at it, like if you go back, Sugar Ray Robinson, the greatest fight ever, Sugar Ray Leonard, maybe the second greatest fighter ever, these are all welterweights. You get uh, Floyd Mayweather of late, yeah. 50 and 0 Mayweather. I mean, Dingan, let's talk the welterweight division, let's talk Tulani Mbengi and, and our great welter welterweights. He is an ex exciting division, you know, you get the great, you know, great fighters of all time, you know. In South Africa, we talk of uh, Maisela, we talk of yes. Brian Baronet, one of yes. the greatest Brian Baronet is this, this, this time. Now, Mbenga is in the same league, and uh, if natured properly, you know, guided properly, I'm, I'm very sure that he will reach the world, if you already started. Do you think he could go? I know it's early days, he's 14 and 0, he's, he's still a baby in the division, he's going to grow. But the guys like Keith Thurman and Errol Spencer, do you think he could get to that level one day, Tulani and Bengi? Yeah, I think he can climb the ladder. You know, we don't have to rush him. Let's support him, nature him. Yeah, I think his trainer, you know, um, Sean, he's doing a great job. Having to take him, you know, climb the ladder properly, you know, to be able to gain confidence. I'm sure that if he gains confidence, he can reach that. For sure. Sean Smith doing a great job there with Tulani and Bengi. David, uh, back to you. Back to you, we spoke to the three-time champion of the world, the other great, Joseph Soweto, Dingan Tobela. You know a lot about boxing as a writer. You probably know more than we do from a writing point of view, not from getting inside the ring. <laughs> what do you think about Tulani and Becky? I think, um, I mean, if you look at the three guys out there, basically, Tulani's younger than they are, even though he's, Good point. he's actually nearly, he turns 27 this month. 14 and 0, as a professional, he's, he's still young and fresh. He can learn, um, and, and I think if he's nurtured properly, especially over the next two years, he could be in a position to, to post a, a decent challenge and against from, one of them, yeah. Yeah, absolutely, I, I agree with you. As you said, he's younger than them. And I think from a draw card point of view, I think this is what South Africa is looking for. You know, we've, we've, been, we've been clutching onto straws here for years, since the great Charlie Weir and since the great Tobella and the Mitchells and wherever, but we haven't had draw cards and real draw cards. Mm -hmm. And I think Tulani Mbengi, do you think Tulani could, Mbengi could be that man? 
Yeah, look at the last fight, you know, the last encounter and you know, he didn't disappoint by winning the, the, the world title. You know, he has proved to his supporters that uh, he is the force to be reckoned. You know? And you can see that a lot of support uh, coming out from even the, from the Smith brothers and uh, him having to perform to the best of the world. You know, his style is bringing more uh, you know, uh, fans into the fight game. Yeah, and I, I definitely think my opinion is that he's a, he's a package deal because he's tall for the weight. He's a great jab, he's a good boxer, he's a great puncher. He knows his way around the ring, he's an intelligent fighter. And I think this kid can be around for a, for a long time, David. He, he can be, but um, the only thing I do wonder, he's a big guy, especially for, for Walter. Wait. Is he going to be able to stay at the weight comfortably? Is he going to be at Dingaan to Bella? Uh, <laughs> he's not even a... <laughs> <laughs> and, and Sorry, Dingaan, but... No, but it doesn't matter, Dingaan moved through every division you know, and beat everybody. Yeah, but there's nothing wrong, David. You know, if, if he moves, uh, of course, to the higher division, because you know, with, when it comes to weight, every fighter outgrows a yes. position. Mm. So let's not try and nature him and, and help him grow in the world. I think Dingon, we're talking ahead of time now, because he's making the welterweight division. True. But uh, he's tall enough to fight in heavier divisions, isn't he? True. Mm. He could okay. fight junior middleweight. He could mm. fight Good, middleweight. Yes. I would imagine. Good, yeah. So I think this kid's going to be around for a while. But that, that's our panel for this month, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you from the Golden Gloves website, a three-time world champion, the Rose of Soweto, yeah. and of course, award-winning boxing journalist, David Isaacson. Thank you for joining us.